Why is there no square, triangle or other shaped planet in the galaxy? Why is it always circle or, or spherical, round shaped planets? Can you explain the science behind this? Yes. Uh -huh. So it's because of the action of gravity. Okay, gravity is the weakest of the four forces. What forces do we have? We have the strong nuclear force. We have the weak nuclear force. We have the electromagnetic force. And these three combine to become the electroweak force. And then you have gravity. And gravity is the weakest of the interactions. Okay. Uh, but yeah, gravity is what shapes the universe at the largest scales. Now, let's say you have a collection of gas. Okay. And there is an over density somewhere. Then because of self-gravitation, this entire gas cloud will start coalescing, coalescing together. It will start moving together in a certain direction, clockwise, anticlockwise, in whichever plane of motion. And that is how protostellar clouds are formed, which lead to the birth of solar systems with a star at the center. Okay, so it's because of the action of gravity that this happens. Now, in any stellar system or solar system, you're going to have some hard, uh, solid material which is going to be very less compared to the mass of the star itself but it's going to give rise to the formation of planets and when you look at small masses let's say we have asteroids right these are all irregularly shaped why is that because they are too too small for gravity to really take over but when you have large enough objects okay with with large large enough mass then gravity will take over and it will it will ensure that the most efficient shape possible is created and the most efficient shape possible is gonna be a spherical roughly spherical shape uh, when it comes to gaseous planets like jupiter saturn and all that they are mostly smoothly almost spherical not exactly spherical i'll come to that in the case of larger planets like the earth and mars and and and, and venus and so on I mean, they are not as large as the gas giants, much smaller. But even here, the gravity, the force of gravity has taken over and, uh, and broken down the, the various components of the planet into a roughly spherical shape. Now, because the planets are rotating, there is going to be an equatorial bulge. And you will see this more pronouncedly with, uh, with gas giants like Saturn and Jupiter. Even the Earth itself has an equatorial, equatorial bulge. So no, not every plan, planet is... Uh, no planet planet essentially is perfectly spherical but it's because of the action of gravity which wants to create the most efficient shape possible that this happens so that's why if you have a, a planet with the size with the mass of the earth and you try to make it into a triangular shape or square or square shape you will see that over time the the action of gravity is going to turn that into a spherical shape a roughly spherical shape and the longer the time goes the more spherical it gets that's what happens. It's because of the, the uh, force of gravity.